Hi everyone, yes, you read right. You can automatically make captions. It goes from speech in your timeline down here, okay, through something called transcriptions, which we know about, and then we can click create captions, and it's magic, watch. There was no typing, and we've got captions all the way through. It's automatic, it's awesome, it's in 13 languages. Let me show you how it works. All right, to get started, I've got a bit of dialogue. Okay, it's from an earlier project, remember Tourism Island. I'm not using that sequence, I'm just keeping everything clean here. So if you do wanna bring it in under Exercise Files, under um, Tourism Island, okay, under Audio, this is the audio file that I'm using, all Irish blessing. You can see it there, I put it on my timeline, and I've dumped a couple of videos from under footage in there. It doesn't really matter. It's all about the audio. So first thing we need to do is let's switch our kind of uh, workspace to captions. It's a bit boring, um, but it's gonna bring up this chunk. If you can't find it under window, find it under captions. No, it's called text. <laughs> there it is there. Okay, so uh, the way this works, remember, is that you create a transcript first and then make captions, okay? So it's weird that way. So let's uh, transcribe the sequence automatically. This is fancy and new. Okay, so create transcript. And basically, which track is it on? You can mix it, so it's going to go through all of the tracks. But that's not good if you've got music playing. And I've got this weird audio that's on this um, bit of footage, so I don't need that. So I'm just going to say, actually, just use audio track two. See this one here? It's got all the waveform on it. And that's it. Um, this will all be off by default. I'll go through them in a bit more detail, but... I bet you 99% of the time, that's all you're gonna do. It's gonna go off and do things. The one thing that I kind of skipped over there is that it's actually uploading it to the cloud. Okay, so your data's going off to the internet and I guess Adobe wants you to know that it is going to the internet, it is secure on the internet, but you know, with your permission, it's uploading it and processing it in the cloud. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, so it is done. Let's have a little look um, at what's created. So remember, a transcript's created uh, at the moment, not a sequence. So let's play it. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. Cool, huh? It's just like, match it all up. Uh, you don't have to type it out. And like, the voice recognition is amazing. Like, this is really new. Literally came out yesterday. I've updated this video. Um, so, I don't know. I think for a first version, it's doing pretty amazing with this accent in English. So, you'll have to let me know in the comments if you're finding it troublesome in other languages. It is, I think it's released with like 14 languages or something. So, that's cool. Um, so, yeah, we've got a transcript. So, what do we do with it? Well, nothing really. We basically create that transcript so that we can then click this button, create captions. And again, uh, just leave everything as the default. We'll run through a little bit more details, but 99% of the time, I bet you this is gonna work. And now we've got our little captions on the top. Look at them here, ready? May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be oh, at your back. It is so good. If you've done this manually, or maybe sent it off to get done and paying somebody to do it, man, it's pretty good doing it here for ourselves in Premiere Pro. Um, again, this tool is new, so I haven't really put it through much of its paces. I've been trying to, um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll find some limitations, but I don't know. Your face, and rains fall soft upon your fields, and until it's pretty amazing. Now, other things in this, um, let's have a little look. So let's say that we're gonna go back and look at just a bit more details, because this is the advanced class. Um, I'm gonna select all the captions along here and delete them. Okay, because I don't want the captions at the moment. I'm going to go back to the transcript as well. See captions, transcript. Okay, and at the moment there's no like delete transcript. So you can re-transcribe the sequence and it kind of replaces what's there. So let's do that to have a little bit more uh, detail. So there's this one that says uh, uh, audio clips tagged as dialogue. Just do those ones because you might have a lot in here. Okay, and you might have different clips and sound effects and you don't want the whole track done. You just want the bits that you've tagged as dialogue. And we do that, remember, when we go you over essential sound, you're the dialogue, and now this one will be, you know, um, transcribed. I'm gonna automate while we're there. Okay, so now when we go retranscribe, we can say actually just do the ones tapped dialogue. Okay, so you can individually pick the ones. Obviously you can pick a language. Okay, there's a bunch in there. Let me know um, when you're doing your work. Okay, obviously not this particular one because it'll all be very similar, but the work that you're doing, throw something into Premiere Pro right now for me after this video and give me a out of 10 score of like how good it got to it. And it'd be good to see over time how good these things are and how better they go. 
Um, but um, so English, other things. Let's look at the most important other feature is this recognize different speakers talking. This seems really good. Um, so I'm gonna cancel out of that. At the moment I only have one woman talking. So I'm gonna grab another bit of audio. So I'm gonna say from our exercise files under sound, there's one in there called sound two. Now it could be one track with different people talking. I had a look through our exercise files and we don't have anything and I couldn't find anything on my machine. So we're gonna fake it by doing this. There you go, like we'll pretend that this, my friend, is just me and this woman having a conversation. Okay, so what you can do is you can say retranscribe and you can say all tagged on dialogue or we could do audio track two, wouldn't matter. But this one here, it says, uh, I wanna opt in to kind of know the speakers, who's who. And um, one thing it says is that, you know, there are new laws, new laws, there are laws around kind of this biometric privacy about recognizing people without asking or, you know, face recognition and audio recognition. It's all weaved into here. And basically uh, Adobe wants you to know like, hey, you you need to have permission to be uploading these to our servers um, and be trying to recognize them. They only recognize them as speaker one and speaker two, but you know, it depends on, how you feel about this, you've got to at least know, you've got to um, have permission to do it. So I'm gonna enable it. You'll notice in there that it says, uh, you can't do it in Illinois. Um, I think it's one of the states in America that forbid this to happen as part of their law. Anyway, I think Texas do it as well. There's a, I don't know. That might change, that might go away, it might get worse. Um, but let's hit transcribe. And what it's gonna try and do is break out the two different speakers, even when they're in the same track, so that, yeah, you can um, yeah, identify the different people and separate them out rather than it kind of blending together. All right, let's speed this up. All right, so it's got it. Like, let's have a look. Is the at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. And... All right, so this is a <laughs> great example, Dan. But in here, you can see edit speakers, and I can say, actually, this is... Um, Kathy, and this is Handsome Dan, or just Handsome Dan. There you go. Okay, and yeah, now I can generate captions. And we'll have our two separate speakers. Now, while we're in here, let's look at some of the more details on creating captions. You can create a blank track that is when you want to hand type it in rather than you know getting it automatically done from the transcript we just made. Everything else in here is useful, I guess. There's Caption presets, there are, you know, uh, captioning um, presets for different uh, specific kind of use cases. I'm not really um, knowledgeable about the different outputs, so you might be, okay, you might go into a special place and it needs, you know, you might go into teletext and you can click in here to get the right kind of captioning done. Format and style kind of seem similar, but format again, it's to do with the kinds of preset. Okay, in the way that it's displayed on here. And again, with a stream, it depends on what you're doing, you know. So if the format changes, you know what you're doing with the format, you can pick the different kinds of streams. I don't, I'm kind of blagging my way through this a bit. Okay, so um, in terms of the style, that's something I do know about is we'll do style in another video. That's when you can change the fonts and stuff. Pick a default style and update it in here. Other things you can do when you're creating captions, you know, how many, you know, how many characters go into the words that appear on the screen? You know, do you want it to be really long lines or really short lines? You can have a play around with that. There are obviously some industry standard defaults that are in here, but you can play around with them. What is the duration in seconds? How long do they stay on screen? You might feel like I'm speaking too fast and it needs to be slower or faster. Again, the gap between captions, when one disappears and the other one appears, do you want it to be zero? Okay, so they just flash up on screen or do you want a bit of a pause between them? Does your captions display on the text, you know, on the screen in a single or double line? All these things you can go and adjust, but the default's pretty handy. Other things that you might wanna do, advanced -y stuff is, let's go back to our captions. Oh, actually, I'm gonna delete these captions again. Okay, go back to my transcript. You get your transcript looking good first and then make your captions. It's the easier process. So in here, I'm gonna recreate them. And what you might do is set an in and out point. Say you only want captions for this part. So I set my in and out points, which is my I on my keyboard and O, wherever your playhead is. Then I can re-transcribe and I can say actually just do the in and out points because you might have a very long document. I'm gonna turn off the different speakers. 
And the other option in here is that you might merge with an existing transcription. I couldn't think of a way that this would be useful. So you have a transcription instead of like redoing it again. So it's new, you can, you know, add new audio and then smoosh it with the existing one. I don't know when that's useful. You probably can think of it already. I can't, but you can do that. Let's cancel that just because the other options you might look at in here, we've looked at retranscribe. Now, when you export your transcript, it feels like, oh great, I'm gonna export my transcript because I want some text. If you do this, you end up with this really weird format. I'll put it on to my poor old desktop. Okay, my desktop's not in here. Where are you desktop? There it is. Okay, let's stick it in and let's see what we get. Now, you're gonna get this weird file that you don't want. Um, so again, Daniel Scott, desktop, lost my shortcut. Okay, you get this one, a PR, you know, Premiere transcript. It's a weird file. Like if you try and open this in something, you get this. I can't work out something that actually, you know, that that actually works with. Okay, so you might know, you might be like, oh great, it's the PR transcript that I've been looking for. That's how you do it. Okay, but what you probably want and what I want is export to text file. Then you export plain text and you get this kind of file. Not that one. You want export file and you get, let's stick it on the desktop again. Let's have a look and that transcript.txt file and that's probably more what you want. Then you can use that, I don't know, for a text transcript for your website or maybe going out as dialogue to people. <laughs> okay, but that's another thing you can do once you've got your transcript. Other things out there are pretty self-explanatory. Pauses. Okay, you can, instead of just having like, a, you know, not having a gap, you can actually add the dot, dot, dot to show a pause. And the disable auto scrolling is this. So auto scrolling on means that when I do this, can you see it moves along? Okay, and kind of moves up and down depending on what's being played. You can turn that off by clicking that button there. Now there's a bit more to transcriptions, but this video is already getting long, so I'll separate them out in other videos, including how to style them and do them manually. And the other thing to note is that this particular feature, the automatic um, you know, transcript making, is a new feature, like literally came out yesterday, so yours might change a little bit. There might be a little bit of jiggling around or another option in here, or they've changed the words, you know, they've moved this up and this down. So if there is something a little different, Check the comments below. I'll update them down there if they're just teeny tiny ones. I'll re-record the video if there are big things, but you might just find other new features. And because you're advanced now, you can look around and go, actually, I reckon I can work that out uh, if something does change. I'm totally trying to get out of making updated video for this one. <laughs> I'm hoping this could be the one forever. Please, Adobe, don't change it. But uh, if they do, have a look around, check the comments. And yeah, that is automatic transcript, but really we want the automatic captions. All right, let's jump into the next video. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do wanna go further with Premiere Pro, you might wanna join me for my larger courses, okay, called Premiere Pro Essentials and Premiere Pro Advanced. There'll be links for both of those in the description. Hope to see you in the course. Bye.